when you look at that sort of not just the incredible bull market that Nvidia has been in, then the decline and this rapid turnaround, what is fueling this stock? Yeah, I, I think what, what's fueling it is there is still a ton of spending on the AI chips that NVIDIA makes. Um, so I, I think the, the downtick was concerns that that, that spending might abate. Um, also, that they might have some issues with their next generation of chips. And, and I think the recovery has to do with a lot of recent data points suggesting that spending on AI just isn't slowing. Can you point to a catalyst in particular? Uh, certainly Foxconn last week. Uh, they came out and said that things are going really well, um, that the rest of their year looks great. And a lot of that is being driven by AI servers. Uh, they're NVIDIA's largest partner uh, on its new Blackwell chips. Um, but beyond that, uh, you go back a little bit, Supermicro, another big NVIDIA customer, uh, they had a tough quarter because of gross margins, um, but their sales were great and their guidance was great. Uh, you mentioned the Blackwell chip. There's been some concern about that being delayed. Does it matter to the overall growth narrative for NVIDIA? I think in the near term, it, it, it certainly doesn't. Um, so if I look at last quarter uh, or, and this quarter coming, I, I don't think Blackwell was ever going to be a large portion of revenue. Moving forward, um, certainly they have to execute and make sure that this is that any delay is minor versus major. Um, and certainly, you don't want to see it being a repeated problem. But they've executed so well. Um, if if they're on track from here, I, I don't think it matters. When you're looking at the broader landscape for the chips, and and I just happen to have been uh, covering the 13 Fs, I saw a lot of movement with other chip makers, not just NVIDIA. I see that you have other, what you call green flags in some of the other companies in the space. Can you talk about what's ahead for the sector and which companies in particular you like? Yeah, so I, I mean, certainly, I think that everyone is committed to spending uh, on AI through the Blackwell launch. Um, so you've got another year plus of, I think, elevated AI spend. Um, I, I think that drags a lot of companies along with it. So it's not just NVIDIA, um, it's TSM on the, on the fab side, it's um, the memory makers. Um, you need HBM, uh, high bandwidth memory to support these new chips. Um, that helps out Micron. Uh, you need more storage, um, AI creates data. Uh, that helps out companies like Western Digital and Seagate. Um, and so a lot of a lot of the boost right now is around the AI complex, um, where I think you may get a, another pickup next year is if we do see AI proliferate in edge devices, uh, that requires more content. And so that benefits a, a whole lot of the semiconductor world. Uh, NVIDIA stands right now uh, in extended trading at one hundred twenty two and ninety cents. Um, it looks like it's dropped off by a percent and a third in the extended trade. Would you still encourage your uh, your investors who look to you to get in now? I, I still have a buy rating, and I, I think that we get a, another quarter from NVIDIA that, again, is is another beat and raise. Um, they've been doing it consistently. Uh, the, the, there just doesn't seem to be any change uh, in momentum from their customer base. You are undoubtedly aware by now that NVIDIA is the hottest tech stock. The company's incredible rise from maker of gaming chips to the face of the artificial intelligence, AI, revolution, and one of the biggest global publicly traded firms has been nothing short of amazing. Its stock fell almost 8% from its June peak, having almost tripled from the year's beginning. Do not be alarmed. I think it still has a lot of room to grow. This is a purchasing opportunity, if anything. Positive updates for NVIDIA, it doesn't appear that this monetary fire hose will be turned off anytime soon. The CEOs of the businesses that operate these hyperscalers emphasized on recent earnings calls the necessity of continuing and even increasing capital expenditures with an AI focus. In 2023, Alphabet invested around $31 billion in capital expenditures. That amount might rise to $50 billion this year, which would be a massive increase. And it's not just Alphabet. 
Big Tech's attitude regarding these investments was best expressed by Sundar Pichai, CEO of Alphabet. The risk of underinvesting is dramatically greater than the risk of overinvesting for us here. These sentiments were echoed by practically all hyperscaler CEOs. It is quite probable that Nvidia will have significant cash inflows in the near future. It will undoubtedly have to fend off rivals, but it is in a strong position to do so. It's business as usual from there. What's the major next move for NVIDIA? Particularly those designed with AI in mind, data centers are immensely complicated. The chips that carry out the calculations are at the core of these systems. NVIDIA is the market leader in this one. But vast volumes of data are produced by all this powerful processing, and that data needs to be delivered. Networking infrastructure comes into play here. Ethernet has long been the norm for networking in most data centers, but AI computing demands too much of the technology. To stay competitive, businesses had to refit their data centers with alternative networking technologies like InfiniBand. Although this is very expensive, NVIDIA has a solution. With the latest iteration of its Spectrum X platform, data centers can continue to run sophisticated AI while staying Ethernet-based. For the business, this means a sizable new revenue source. NVIDIA generated about $20 billion in revenue from processors during the most recent quarter, and $3 billion from networking products. According to Mordor Intelligence, the market for data center networking infrastructure will be worth over $26 billion in total in 2024, and is expected to expand at a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 18% through 2029. There's a lot of scope in this field for NVIDIA. So let's dive in, but first, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market latest news, you can subscribe to our investing tutorial channel as we post daily updates about the biggest changes and catalyst in the market. So click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now back to today's video. Let's talk about NVIDIA because shares, they're a bit flat today, but coming off a massive rally last week, the stock surging almost 19%, its best weekly gain in over a year, snapping a five-week losing streak. Now, the next big test for the stock, it's going to be its earnings report next week. We want to bring in our very own Dan Halley, who is tracking that. And Dan, everyone's trying to figure out whether or not earnings are going to live up to the hype and whether or not it's going to be a catalyst for the stock. So what are you hearing? Yeah, Shauna, it's, it's going to be interesting because there's a few factors uh, going on here. First is really kind of the, the ailing AI trade overall. And I say ailing in the sense that uh, over the last month, uh, companies like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google uh, have seen their uh, stock prices fall. Uh, they've recovered slightly from what they were last week, but uh, they're still uh, negative in that last uh, month of trading. Uh, for NVIDIA, uh, as you said, the test comes when they report earnings, and, and the issue really comes down to uh, the expectations and how it's outperformed in prior quarters. So just to give you a sense, we're looking at a potential $28.6 billion uh, of revenue. That's what analysts uh, were calling for as of last week. That would be a 112% year-over-year jump over the company's $13.5 billion they recorded in their fiscal Q2 2024. Their uh, fiscal dates uh, are a year ahead. Uh, in their most recent quarter, though, NVIDIA reported $26 billion in revenue. That was a 262% year-over-year year increase. So you see that difference between the 112 and the 262. Uh, the reason being is because uh, they're just coming up against these difficult uh, comps from when they really saw uh, revenue start to explode. And, you know, the, the question has been when that starts to kind of come back down to earth, I mean, obviously 112% year-over-year growth is massive, but uh, I'm comparing it to that 262%. Uh, some investors may start to think, well, is is the ride over? And so I think that's something that's going to be uh, kind of looked at pretty closely uh, when it comes to the 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 earnings this coming quarter. Uh, the, the 28th is when they're going to report. And then the other thing, obviously, is going to be what their outlook uh, for the current quarter uh, will be. What kind of growth are they expecting there? Uh, and those, I think, are going to be the two big things that customers watch. Also, any commentary uh, on the Blackwell chips, uh, the information reported that uh, the uh, NVIDIA is having trouble getting them out the door. Uh, NVIDIA basically came out and said, we're on track to ramp production in the second half of 2024. And so that's 
more or less staying with what they've said in the past. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if we get any kind of commentary there. But The investment management firm Artisan Partners released their investor letter for the Artisan Select Equity Fund for the second quarter of 2024. The fund returned 0.4% for the second quarter, while the S&P 500 index returned 4.28% and the Russell 1000 Value Index returned 2.2%. Year to date, the fund increased by 10.4% compared to the index's returns of 15.3% and 6.6%. The investor letter for the Artisan Select Equity Fund featured stocks such as NVIDIA, which provides networking and graphic solutions. NVIDIA's one-month return was 5.23%, and its shares gained 176.79% of their value over the previous 52 weeks. On August 19, 2024, NVIDIA's stock closed at $130 per share, with a market capitalization of $3.198 trillion. In its key to 2024 investor letter, Artisan Select Equity Fund made the following statements about NVIDIA. Furthermore, returns are becoming more and more concentrated in a small number of names. Nearly all of the key to returns of the S and P 500 or index and the MSCI ACWI index were produced by four companies, Microsoft, Apple, Alphabet, and NVIDIA. About 40% of the entire return for the MSCI ACWI index and 44% of the total return for the S and P 500 or index was attributed to NVIDIA. Put another way, the benchmark's return would have been cut in half if NVIDIA had been excluded from these indices. In case this rise in NVIDIA seems too theoretical, think about this. NVIDIA has increased its dollar value by $1.8 trillion so far this year. That equates to the U.S. GDP growth in 2023, which naturally reflects the combined economic efforts of almost 330 million people. The current market value of NVIDIA is $3 trillion, thus also is France's GDP. In the list of the 31 most popular stocks among hedge funds, NVIDIA is ranked fifth. The database shows that at the end of the second quarter, 179 hedge fund portfolios held NVIDIA, up from 186 the previous quarter. With $26 billion in sales in the first quarter, NVIDIA posted yet another record quarter, up 262% year-over-year. Although we recognize that NVIDIA has potential as an investment, we are more certain that AI stocks have a larger potential to provide higher returns in a shorter amount of time. So what does this really mean for NVIDIA's stock? Let's find out. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make. So if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow that said back to the video. Welcome back to the watch list. Time to turn our attention over to mega cap tech. So how are you feeling about the group, right? It was certainly a darling, a favorite, ran up big, then a lot of volatility. Are there some opportunities now that some of these names are off the highs? However, last week, big week, so a lot of them gained back. Ali Mogarabi is with us, Senior Equity Analyst, West End Capital Management. Michael Robinson, Chief Technology Strategist at Weiss Ratings. Thank you both for being with us. So, um, Ali, I, what did NVIDIA gain last week? 19% or something? Um, you know, people were watching the $100 line. Did we miss it? Was that the, Were these the lows if people wanted to get in there? What names do you watch that may have some room? Well, um, certainly we think uh, NVIDIA still has some upside. I mean, just uh, for example, today's uh, announcement of AMD acquiring um, ZT Systems just tells you what a commanding lead and advantage NVIDIA has. You know, it's forced AMD to provide uh, the, that full stack software with its acquisition of Silo AI and, uh, and now ZT Systems. So uh, we're still confident in, in NVIDIA. Um, of course, you know, they'll be reporting next week and uh, we'll see if they provide uh, some good guidance. But uh, we're still confident on that front. And uh... But there's competition. Already a significant player is Broadcom. But this new Ethernet-based method might really change everything. It is very possible to gain a larger market share. 
medical imaging technology is one of the areas that has profited substantially from artificial intelligence, which is helping to improve many facets of the healthcare business. Artificial intelligence is being utilized to create imaging equipment that help aid early diagnosis and therapy by detecting diseases earlier. The NVIDIA Clara platform, which combines hardware and software to enable AI in medical devices, was introduced by the tech giant NVIDIA last month. A new generative AI weather model from NVIDIA Research has reportedly been introduced by Axios, with the potential to predict extreme weather occurrences like tornado outbreaks and flash floods. This model dramatically improves the accuracy of short-range weather forecasts. According to NVIDIA, this model is the first artificial intelligence system that can enhance severe weather simulations all the way down to the kilometer scale, as Axios reported. According to Axios, if other researchers are able to duplicate the model's effectiveness, it may usher in a new era of accurate short-term weather forecasting that might save lives and minimize property damage. Tech behemoths like NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Google have historically demonstrated advancements in producing medium-range global weather forecasts using AI algorithms. However, Stormcast, a new model from NVIDIA, is supposed to go beyond by more accurately applying AI to small scales. According to a research written in collaboration with the University of Washington and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory that has been submitted for peer review, NVIDIA's Stormcast functions at the mesoscale level, meaning it can precisely resolve small-scale weather phenomena like thunderstorms. When it comes to forecasting storm progression on weather radar, Axios claims that the model performs better than HRR, the top short-range weather prediction system in the United States. Even with these developments, physics-based models should still be used to evaluate AI forecasts, according to Mike Pritchard, climate scientist at NVIDIA, who spoke with Axios. According to Axios, the area of weather prediction is predicted to undergo a revolution as new AI technologies are combined with existing methodologies as the use of AI tools in weather forecast grows.